City Council meeting to order for November 4th, 2013. May we have a roll call, please? Council Members Fenby. Trillson? Here. Batson? Here. Schultz? Here. Burbank? Here. Rainey? Here. Abraham? Here. Mayor Koontz? Here. We have six of the council and they're present. Thank you. Please rise and join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance is the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. I would like to thank everyone for coming tonight, and with that, we do not have any changes to the agenda. We'll look for a motion to approve it as presented. So moved. Motion by Raymond to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Greg Schultz. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved. We will now move on to the next item on the agenda, which is the mayor. And we do have a proclamation for him. Thank you, Les. You know, we have really had a very successful fall season in our high school sports, and we have several of our athletes here tonight. So if I could get you just to stand up here so we can get you recognized by the camera, if we can just line up this direction. And we must have a coach that's got to join him up here. <laughs> And I'll read the proclamation and I'll ask you just to introduce yourself and we'll go around and introduce yourself and say what sport you do. So, proclamation, whereas Otana student athletes have had an excellent fall season and whereas the following teams are the big nine champion comp conference champions, boys football, boys soccer, and girls soccer. And whereas the boys cross country finished second in the big nine and whereas the following teams placed third in the conference and they were girls volleyball, girls cross country, and girls tennis. And whereas state qualifiers, qualifiers are the boys football, boys soccer, girls diving, Kelly Schwab, and uh, girls tennis player, Brianna Hartman. And whereas Poetana athletes excel in the classroom with a grade point average of 3.12 and 60% of last year's graduating uh, graduates graduating with distinction were involved in Husky sports. What a great, great thing to say about our student athletes to have that great point average. Now I, therefore, Thomas A. Kuntz, Mayor of the Great City of Otana, do hereby proclaim the week of November 14th, November 4th through November 8th, 2013, as Otana High School Student Athlete Week, and encourage all Otana and Steele County citizens to support our student athletes and show our appreciation for a job well done. What your duties are? I'm Bob Wayne, I'm the Wayne varsity coach for soccer. Uh, DJ Chalen, boys of cross country captain. Uh, I'm Brandon, and I was also a captain for the cross country team. Neely Wayne, uh, and I'm a cross country captain. Ty Solomon, football captain. Andrew Selter, football captain. Hayward, football captain. Luquanius, football captain. Max Servier, soccer captain. Kelly Schwab, swimming and diving captain. Maddie Eggermont, swimming and diving captain. Anna Moss, swimming and diving captain. Gabby Teller John, tennis captain. Well, my compliments go off to you for a job well done. Thank you very, very much. And my kids were part of the uh, 1982 team that played the first uh, football game in the Dome. We're going to play the last one in the Dome, too, right? Yeah. <laughs> Good. Thank you very, very much. Oh, really? No. Good luck and congratulations to everyone. So. Thanks, guys. Get to the school now. Yeah. <laughs> we'll wait a few minutes and let them uh, leave, and then we will continue. Kelly. Hmm? Kelly. Good for you. Yeah. No volleyball players. Of the same thing. Yeah. <laughs> Nobody here knows. 
looks like we uh, just about emptied the place here. <laughs> <laughs> but with that, we'll move on to a public hearing, and with that, we'll move on to the first proposed assessments for 2013 improvements projects, utility and street projects, and with that, we'll move over to Kyle. Uh, good evening. Tonight we have, uh, as you mentioned, a few uh, assessment roles for the uh, 2013 street and utility project, uh, the East Broadway project, the 12th Avenue Northwest project, and the uh, Rose Street retaining wall repair. Um, I do have one correction to the role. Um, there had been a request uh, by St. John's Lutheran Church um, to apply the side yard credit to their um, south side of their property along uh, 14th Street Southeast. That is not reflected in this role, and I, I guess I would suggest um, including that as a in the motion. Okay, thank um, you. And if there's any other questions. With that, we'll open the public hearing to at uh, 706. If anyone wishes to speak, please come forward to the microphone and sign in. This would be on the different streets, uh, Broadway, uh, 12th Avenue, uh, 14th Avenue, or 14th Street, and Rose Street. Uh. The, the street, and you, I'll just jump in, it would include 14th Street Southeast, 15th Street Southeast, Mackendoo between uh, Lincoln and Grove, uh, Selby, and Willow. Okay. So any of those streets, if you have any questions or comments, please step forward. Sign in. I have to sign in? Yes, please. Mm -hmm. yep. Can I ask questions about yes, you can. the street itself? Yes. And the sidewalk? Yes. Okay. Uh, how come this time, it must be in here somewhere, that the sidewalk is included, right? Okay. With that, I believe that because they were doing street work, they included the sidewalk with it. So They redid our, our street period, and they redid a lot of sidewalk. Okay. Which which project? On Broadway, East Broadway. The it was included in the, in the project cost, yes. Pardon? It was included in the... In the costs, yes. It was included in the costs. Because I had mine done about 12, 13 years ago, and I paid for it. Okay. Now this year, it's, it's one big sub, you know. There was nothing wrong with my sidewalk, but still they took out some. And it was replaced? It was replaced from the minute they got there. Because I didn't need the sidewalk to take out. What, what was your address? 628 East Broadway. 628 East Broadway. And I, I guess I don't have the, the sidewalk broken down. You've got it figured the way in the, in the slip that you charged us? It was included in the project costs. Yeah, because they put in other people's sidewalk in on this deal now, where before when it was done, I came to the meeting and they said I couldn't do it, that the city had to do it. Well, the city did it and I had to pay for it. Now this here is as a project again. But was that when they did an overlay? Pardon? Was that when they did an overlay or when they did a full street project? No, at the time you had to replace. They, they went down the block and marked the sidewalks they wanted replaced. And then I had to replace them. But the city had to put them in. Yeah, so they wouldn't let me do it. It was in a sidewalk project at that time. It wasn't with a street project. No, right, right, yeah. And that's just the sidewalk project. I mean, the, he didn't do any, we didn't do any separate sidewalk projects at all this year, but like last year we did some, some sidewalk repairs, separate sidewalk repairs. This is different. This was done about 12, 14 years ago, yeah. is that correct? Yeah, I couldn't, I didn't find my papers exactly, but it's at least 10 years ago. And I don't have the breakdown in front of me, and I can't say if the sidewalk was assessed individually okay. or... You haven't got the breakdown. But will I be 
Less sad amount and minor. Uh, Jean, I guess what I'd like to do is I'd like to have you come up and meet with Kyle probably tomorrow to have him look at what how this, how it's broken down. Oh, yeah, okay. Okay? It, I guess if you're asking if you're paying for the other sidewalks is... is no, I don't want to be paying for my sidewalk again when nobody else has got that separate. Correct. Because there were sidewalks missing for two or three years. Nobody replaced them. Now with the street going through, they replaced them. Yep. So I wondered if that was a freebie job or mine was so much that I had to pay. Could we get together tomorrow sometime and I could show you the pro the cost. Okay. Yep. Could have you take a look at that with Kyle tomorrow and uh, get it resolved. Where do I meet him? Uh, just come up here to City Hall. Just time? If you leave me your number, I'll give you a call. Okay. Okay. What you give me? Just, just write the number down there pad, on the pad. On the pad. Okay. And then he'll call you tomorrow. Thank you. Is there anyone else who wishes to speak? Seeing none, Chair will entertain a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Motion by Raymond to close the public hearing. Do you have a second? Second. Second by Nate Dotson. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? Now it's council turn to comment. So any questions from the council? Raymond. I, ju I just want to comment. Uh, Kyle's efforts this year of having separate meetings for the people, I, I thought it was an opportunity for the people to sit down and visit with an engineer that actually was doing the project, and I think it made things go a lot better this year than they have from the past, so I commend him for taking that extra time with staff to make that happen. I, I, I think it I heard very less people complaining this year because they knew up front who the engineer was and I know a lot of people that lived on some of those streets said, gee, it went out and I talked to the engineer right on the job site and so I commend that staff for doing that this year. So. It, was, it was a very positive direction, yes. Any other questions from the council? With that, uh, the first one is uh, resolution 101-13, what is the council's wishes? So move and approve. We have a motion by Raymond to approve. Do we have a second? There. Se second with an addition of Raymond's okay. Uh, we need to put a, a term and an interest rate in. Oh, yes, that's and correct. I, I would recommend uh, 10 years at 3.5%. For this project? For this uh, project. Or for all these for projects? For all these projects. Yes. Okay, so would that uh, acceptable? Okay, we do have... In addition to the, with the second, to uh, the interest rate would be 3.5% for 10 years. If you want to pay it over a period of time, that's a lot different than it used to be at, pardon? You want to pay it now? Oh, you, sure. If you want to pay it now, you yeah. can pay it now. But but if you want to pay it over a period of years. And it's 3.5. 3.5% interest at 10 years. You can pay it off within the 10 years. Early or up to 10 years. So. It was lowered last year quite a few percent. It used to be a lot higher. Two years ago, it was 7%. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we have a motion in a second. Kyle. The St. John's. St. John's? That? Yeah, we, I'd like to add that part of the motion. That's yeah. in there. Yeah. Yeah, yeah we'll, we'll be dealing with St. John's and get that uh, checked out. But it is included in approval to proceed with it. Yeah. Okay, seeing no more discussion, all those in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved. Now we'll move on to 102.13, which is the sidewalk. The, the, I'm sorry, the utility street projects. The retaining wall. Retaining wall. Yep. Retaining. Yes, retaining wall on Rose Street. Yep. Any questions on that from the council? I'll make a motion to approve that with a five-year term at 3.5%. Okay, that would change because of the, the amount of uh, work done there. So, With that, we have a motion to approve with a five-year 3.5%. Second? Second. By Kevin Rainey. Any further discussion on that? Question. Raymond. 
Colonel Rose, what happened to Rose Street? What, what that, was that an addition this year, or was that fell down again? Or? No, that was the um, uh, retaining wall that uh, fell down, and then our retaining wall policy is that um, we pay for half, and the property owner pays for half, and they requested to have the uh, their half assessed. Was that done by the same person did Lamont Road and fell down? Or? <laughs> No. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, it just seemed like if they would have done it right, I don't think we'd be seeing that problems, I guess, you know. Yeah, and, and they were built by different contractors at different times. Okay. Now we'll move on to... Yeah. Mm -hmm. Vote on them. Okay. We have a motion and a second. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved also. Now we'll move on to 1.52, Resolution 105-13, to modify the TIF district for Viracon. And again, go to Kyle. Troy. Troy. Troy, I'm sorry. And I'm going to request that we uh, table this public hearing until the next council meeting on uh, November 19th to provide proper notice to the newspaper. So if we could table that uh, public hearing until uh, our November 19th city council meeting, that would recommend that. So moved. We have a motion to table uh, by Raymond. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Dave Burbank. All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been tabled until our next meeting in November. Is that correct? Yes. And with that, we will now move on to our financial report. And with that, we have... $33,049 for Bolton Mink Incorporated for Airport uh, Master Plan. $74,449 for Dan Borner Construct Borniki Construction for New Northwest Industrial Road. $25,887 for Heselton for East Broadway Final Payment. $203,000. $14 for Hesselton for West School Street final payment. $24,302 for Melby Masonry LEC uh, detached storage facility. $40,385 for Mingi Minger construction for 2013 Street and Utility pay, pay estimate. $40,582 for Steele County Auditor for all third quarter LEC costs. $23,232 for Yoakum Oil for fuel expenditures. $278,229 for other expenditures for a subtotal of $741,132. To that we add $60,263 for Section 8 uh, November payments for a grand total of $801,396. What is the council's wishes? Make a motion to pay the bills. We have a motion to approve the bills. Do we have a second to that? Second. Second by Nate. Oh. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved. <laughs> we will now move on to the consent agenda items, which are uh, requests for different activities in the parks. Uh, minutes of meetings, uh, board uh, uh, minutes, uh, approvals, etc. All grouped into one motion. What is the council's wishes? I'll move the approved consent agenda. We have a motion by Raymond to con approve the consent agenda items. Do you have a second? Second. Second by Nate Dotson. Any further discussion? Just, just next Raymond. year, could we do the voting thing maybe a month early instead of wait till the day, the day before election? Maybe would be Second. helpful next year, like we did at the first part of an October or something to notify them. It seemed like last year we did it the day before too. So. What's that? The voting at the library. We're gonna we just voting on it tonight. Tomorrow's election. Okay. For changing the parking. So, okay. I just next year we should maybe move should that a little bit sooner. Sooner. Yes. So. Okay. Uh, with that, uh, any other discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed. Now we we'll move on to action items. And with that, we will start with. Uh, Number 103-13, set time and date for public hearing for 
annexation of land 2694 and 2696 Hoffman Drive. And with that, we'll go to Troy. Jeremy and Kaylin Barsh, owners of 2694 Hoffman Drive, and Leona Stockwell, owner of 2696 Hoffman Drive, and also Northern Building Contractors, which is a holder of the contract of that property, have petitioned the city for annexation of the two properties for the purposes of connecting to municipal utilities. Uh, the total property, including the right-of-way, consists of 2.36 acres. The property would be placed in a B2 community business district, and we do have sewer and water currently available along Hoffman Drive in front of those properties. Uh, the Barshes are requesting uh, to make utility connections prior to the completion of annexation. The city is proposing to enter in a letter of understanding with the applicant to allow them to start connection prior to the annexation process uh, being completed since the applicant has agreed to pay the deferred assessments. Um, the existing septic system is non-compliant and the applicant is in the annexation process. The northern building contractor's building would be connected to municipal services next year. And both parties have entered into a letter of understanding with the city and public utilities. Uh, this letter waives the property owner's right to appeal the assessment and agrees to the deferred assessment for connecting to the utilities as well as the timing of the connections. The letter also agrees to spread the assessment over 10 years at 3.5% interest rate. And um, the city portion of the taxes for those is uh, $282 a year. And under our, under our annexation agreement with Owatonna Township, we would reimburse them for two and a half years or $705. There's no budgetary impacts for setting the public hearing. If the annexation were approved, the city would require to re be reimbursing the township for their share of taxes for two and a half years, which again is $705. And the city would also begin to recoup those costs of those that utility installation in that area that was done last year. Uh, so staff would recommend approval of resolution setting the public hearing date for December 3rd uh, to consider the proposed annexation. And staff is uh, further recommending approval of the memorandums of understanding regarding the annexation uh, with all the property owners. Thank you. Any questions from the council? The property wouldn't have happened if we didn't run the sewer water up to the county property last year. Would have, I mean, they probably wouldn't be asking for that annexation, would yeah, they? Yeah, that was a request that was done uh, in part with the yeah. county in those um, that project was completed. So the sewer and water is, and we did make it available to all the property yeah, owners at that, that time to be annexed in. Uh, there were some sales and stuff that needed to be worked out in a replatting of some of the property under the county before anybody was ready to do that. So we're at that point right now. Thank you. Any other questions from the council? Make a motion we approve. We have a motion by Nate to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Greg Schultz. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved. Next one is set a public hearing date for annexation of land at 1520 State, State Street. And again, we go to Troy. Uh, a similar request to the last one, Bruce and Betty, Bushel, Betty Jo Bushel, on behalf of Owatonna Groundmasters, have petitioned the city for annexation uh, of the property located at 1520 State Avenue, again, for the purposes of connecting to uh, municipal utilities. Uh, about 2.1 acres, including the right-of-way easement, and the property would also be zoned in a, in a B2 community business district. And again, we have city sewer uh, and water right there in State Avenue. They are requesting to make those connections prior to the completion of annexation as well. And they are proposing to enter into a memorandum of understanding to allow them to start before the completion of the annexation. The deferred assessments in this case have already been paid. And again, the septic system is non-compliant. Uh, and when the way to bring that in, com in compliance is to hook up to, s to municipal services. The township portion of the taxes is uh, uh, $141.23 annually. And again, under our township annexation agreement, we would reimburse 2.5 years or $353.08. Um, again, no budgetary impacts on setting the public hearing. The reimbursement of $353.08 would be a part of that. So staff would again recommend approval of the resolution setting the public hearing date for December 3rd 
and to consider uh, to consider proposed annexation, and again. Um, recommend approval of the memorandum of understanding regarding the annexation with the property owner. Thank you, Troy. Any questions from the council? Motion to approve. Second. We have a motion by Ray, uh, Greg to approve and a second by Raymond. Any further discussion? I got a question. Raymond. Troy, you think south of that property, will they consider annexation in the next few years, do you think, or have they talked about it at all? Or? Well, so. what happens under annexation agreement, it is at the request of the property owner. Typically what drives that is a sale of the property and noncompliance of a septic system. And so when we have those situations happen, uh, typically the most cost-effective way to be in compliance is to hook up to city sewer and water. So as more properties are sold along there, we'll see more of these properties kind of come in at one at a time is typically how it works. Okay. Thank you. Kevin. My properties are not annexed right now out in that area, Troy. Uh, I don't know that offhand, but I would suspect there's probably about 10 or so properties along that uh, west side that have not been annexed. Yet. Okay. Uh, Thank you. There's, there's only about one or two that are at this point, and they were annexed for this very same reason that yeah, so we have uh, like Grace's and Modern Metal, and uh, on the corner there, Keys Motors. Those are all in. Mm -hmm. um, as you get further north there, I think we've had two annexations, and so this will probably be the third one further north of that. Yeah. You can see it. Any on other the, questions? You can see it on the map as to yeah. Yeah. The city boundary yeah. line is which parcels are. Okay, we do have a motion and a second. Any other questions? All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? This has been approved. We'll move on to 3.5.3, uh, concur with Steel County for state aid for local, for local transportation. And with that, we will go to Kyle. Uh, good evening. Uh, this is simply a resolution required by uh, the state of Minnesota uh, that we concur with Steele County designating a uh, county state aid road within the city limits. And this would be Hoffman Drive from uh, State Avenue to the western city limits, which would be uh, 39th Avenue. So simply uh, agreeing that the uh, former Highway 14 turn back would be designated a county state aid highway, and we recommend approval. And that, that is partnering with the Steel County to get that. Okay, thank you. Any questions from the council? Make a motion we approve. We have a motion by Nate to approve. Do you have a second? Second. Second by uh, Kevin. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved. Now we move on to 3.5.4, the rescue pumper truck for the fire department purchase. And we'll go to Chris with that. Thank you, Les. Uh, the fire department would like council approval to move forward with pursuing a contractual agreement with Pierce Manufacturing under the HGAC Nationwide Government Procurement Service Group. Council had talked about this during our CIP work session. Um, this HGAC meets all of our state requirements, and by buying it um, at this time or entering into the contract, we're able to secure uh, this year's prices, the 2012-2013 quote list. We anticipate that going up for uh, next year. So staff would recommend authorization to proceed with a contractual agreement with Pierce Manufacturing under this HGAC buy program. Thank you. Any questions from the council? Motion we approve. We have a motion by Nate to approve. Do we have a second to that? Second. Second by Greg Schultz. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved for him to work on that uh, purchase. Thank you. Now we move on to 3.5.5, approved quotes and award contract for flood grant demolition projects. And with that, we will go to... Troy. Troy. Uh, the city has purchased two houses along Lamont Road as part of our DNR flood grant. Uh, the houses are located at 223 and 321 Lamont Road. The purpose of the grant is to allow for the removal of structures within the floodplain 
and the grant does cover 100% of the of the removal costs. Uh, the city sent out invitation for quotations on October 7th. The invitation was sent out to eight local contractors that have performed demolition work within the city or have, or have expressed interest previously. The city received four quotations prior to the deadline of noon on October 30th, and the four quotes are included in your packet there. The lowest uh, quotation for demolition of the structures was received by Wenzel Construction with a total fee of $18,900 for both properties. Uh, the long-term uh, in budget impact is is none because uh, the property or the grant covers 100% of the cost. The short term is we have to pay for uh, those costs and then we get reimbursed. Uh, but it is covered 100% by the DNR grant. So staff would recommend uh, approval of the lowest uh, bid there from Wenzel Construction for a total of $18,900 uh, for the removal of these structures at 223 and 321 Lamont Road. Thank you, Troy. Any questions from the council? Raymond. Troy, is that is does that mean all the outbuildings to the garages and everything? Or? Yes, it would. There, each of the properties has a garage, actually, in, in a good-sized garage, in pretty good shape, and so it's it's likely that those will be moved out. And there's a slight possibility one of the houses could be moved. Uh, we left it open-ended. Um, on, on so it's the, Wentzels. Yep, and leave it up to them. And if okay. someone found it more feasible to move them out of there. Um, if you get a lower bid uh, to us, then we just left that up to them. Is there still one house left then? Actually, we have, um, so there's seven there now. So these are, th this covers two of them, so that's five left. Uh, we do have a purchase agreement on one of those, and I am in discussions with two other property owners as well. Thank you, Troy. Motion to approve. We have a motion by Greg to approve. Do you have a second? Second. Seconded by Dave Burbank. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? This has been approved to uh, proceed. With that, we will now move on to 3.56, uh, set public hearing for vision process technologies. And that will go to Troy again. Vision Processing Technologies is proposing a 15,000 square foot addition onto their facility at 220 24th Avenue Northwest. The addition is to add a new production line, which would result in the addition of 20 new employees. Uh, Vision is requesting tax income and financing to assist with the building addition. The request is for establishing a tax income and financing district for up to nine years. Uh, this would be a pay-as-you-go TIF with the property own, owner up fronting the cost for all the improvements on the property. And then we'll have more details, including the TIF plan, uh, to you prior to the public hearing. Uh, there are minimal publication costs for establishing the, the public hearing, and there are consulting fees for the TIF financing, which, again, would come out of the EDA's consulting budget and be reimbursed to them over the life of the TIF. Uh, so staff would recommend adoption of the resolution authorizing setting the public hearing for December 17th. Thank you, Troy. Questions from the council? What is the council's wishes? Come in. Uh, Troy, question. Uh, if you know the 20 employees, is that full-time or part-time employees? That would be full-time. Okay, thank you. Yeah. Make a motion to approve. We have a motion by Kevin to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Greg Schultz. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved also. Thank you. Then we move on to 3.57, Airport Maintenance Operation Agreement. And again, we go to Troy. Uh, attached in your packet there is uh, the Airport Maintenance and Operations Agreement with the Minnesota Department of Transportation Office of Aeronautics. The agreement is for state aid. Uh, which covers the state fiscal years of 2014 and 15 for the maintenance and operation of the Otana Airport. Uh, the funding participation provides reimbursement for eligible expenses such as paving repairs, mowing, equipment repair costs, and utilities not to exceed the amount calculated by an airport infrastructure formula. Um, the Department of Transportation Office of Aeronautics uh, will, will reimburse the city for two-thirds uh, of the direct actual maintenance and operation costs of the airport, not to exceed the annual base amount, and that base amount for the next two years would be $43,873 for each year. 
So staff would recommend approval uh, of the agreement with the Minnesota Department uh, of Transportation Aeronautics Office. Thank you, Trey. Questions from the council? Now, this is, uh, do we get reimbursed any of this part through the F FAA? Um, their funding, it's through the state. Uh, I'm not sure if part of that comes from the FAA or not. Um, but it's an agreement we have every year okay. or have had for a very long time, um, which helps reimburse us for the maintenance costs. Thank you. Move to approve. We have a motion by Greg Schultz to approve. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Nate uh, Dotson. Any further discussion? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? This has been approved also. The next item on the agenda, miscellaneous personnel policy and pro procedures. And with that, we'll go to Lynn. Thank you. Um, the purpose of this memo is to make some changes in our personnel and policy manual. The city travel and training guidelines and the sick leave policies currently addressed in the policy and procedure manual were in need of some updates. The following revised policy, Chapter 15, addresses um, the updates. Revisions provide much more detailed guidelines as to what are allowable and unallowable expenses. The revisions also refer to the newly adopted Chapter 18 on purchasing. In Chapters 3, 6, and 7, 6 leave payout is discussed. The updates provide consistency and language clarifications. Uh, and something else I want to talk about in 3.16, I added a tele work guideline policy and telework is a management tool that may be used to increase productivity, reduce employee commute trips, and accommodate special needs of employees. The city would like to implement telework in situations where it work to a mutual benefit to the employees and the city and the city's customers. Because telework is a department it's a departure from existing employment circumstances. It is important to clearly define in writing the city's expectations regarding such as an agreement. Telework arrangements are implemented for various reasons, including recruitment, employee retention, cost savings, productivity, environmental impacts, and emergency preparedness. Thank you. And one thing, because this is a new um, a new proposed policy, I suggest perhaps we want to um, uh, table this and talk about it in a future uh, study session so council can ask additional questions and uh, feel comfortable. Recommendation is to table at this point. And, and I uh, think we can, I, I would recommend we move ahead with the other uh, updates and it's more of a housekeeping uh, and type And just of, table part of this. Yes, just table, table the, the 3.16. Yes. So move. We have a motion to table 3.16. Table 3.16. Do we have a second to that? Second. Second by Nate. Uh, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? With that withdrawn from this, we will now look for a motion to approve the rest of the. I'll move we approve the rest of it. We have a motion by Raymond to approve the rest of this uh, action. Do we have a second to that? Second. Second by Nate. Any further discussion there? Seeing none, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed? This has been approved. So thank, thank you, you very much. And with that, we'll now move on to public comment. And anybody wishing to speak, please come forward and sign in. And uh, anything that is not on the agenda, uh, you may be able to speak about. So if you want to, please come and sign in. Seeing none, we will move on to council comment. And with that, we'll move. We'll start with uh, Brent is not here. Raymond. Uh, just wanted to uh, tell everybody to vote tomorrow. That's our rights as American citizens. And please get out to vote tomorrow. Thank you. Nate? Nothing to add tonight. Thank you. Craig? I agree with Raymond. Get out there and exercise your rights. And um, everything's quiet in Ward 2. Thank you, Greg. Dave? We're a week away from Veterans Day. I would ask that anybody that knows a veteran would shake their hand next Monday and thank them for their service to the country. Thank you, Dave. I agree with you 100% there. Kevin? I have nothing tonight from Ward 4. Okay, and uh, we'll go to the mayor, Tom. Nothing to add. Thank you. Chris? 
Well, I will just ha I just have one thing. It's the Mayor's Prayer Breakfast on November 21st, 7.30 a.m., um, sponsored by the Owatonna Exchange Club. Guest speaker will be Father Mike Cronin. It's going to be at the Owatonna Arts Center. $10 ticket includes your buffet breakfast. And tickets are available at Insti Prince and at the City Administrator's Office. So I urge everyone to attend. Thank you. Kevin. Certainly. We do also have coffee with council this Saturday, correct? Yes. Thank you for reminding me. <clears throat> it is this Saturday at the kitchen. Yep. Nine o'clock at the kitchen. Our um, quarterly coffee with the council where we, it's an informal setting to come visit with the council about anything. And we hope to see any and all people there. We're going to get a note out on that, Honor. Yes. Get, get that into the yep. on the radio and the paper. Will do. Okay. Okay. Thank you. And I do not have anything other to add to what has been said. So, Chair, will look for a motion to adjourn. So moved. Motion by Kevin to adjourn. Do we have a second? Second. Second by Nate. All those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed? Meeting adjourned. <laughs>